don't forget to turn off your phones if you haven't already done so. And we are going to go into a beautiful meditation. Take a couple deep breaths. Bring your palms together. Close your eyes. And let's really tune in to the presence of this moment. And even though we are connecting to the energy of the entire year, I really want to invite you to know that this whole year exists right here in this perfect spiritual now. So as you're rubbing your hands together, I want you to pay attention to the texture between your palms. Notice if your hands are feeling really light or heavy. Ask the texture of your palms to be indicative of the energies of this year. Allow your breath to do the same. Let your breath flow in abundantly. Allow your breath to exhale graciously. And then as you're causing that gentle, loving, sweet friction between your palms, notice using your open third eye and of course, using your imagination, begin to notice how you are pumping light, energy, substance, resources, and wonderful, beautiful, loving power through every single acupuncture point, meridian, chakra, et cetera, et cetera, in every nook and cranny of your body, you are getting brighter, brighter and brighter, and just breathe. As you're creating this chi, notice how light it is. I don't mean light luminous. I mean light as in like anti-gravity kind of light. And so as you create more of that super, super floaty light, I want you to bring it into your breath, bring it into your body and begin to feel lighter and lighter. So light, in fact, that you might even get a sensation of kind of just lifting up out of your body ever so gently. Still remaining connected to it, but maybe feeling just a little less of the pull of gravity. And then when you can feel your hands all nice and fired up and your breath is nice and rhythmic, when you can tell that the energy is like pulling taffy between your hands, bring your palms right into the center of your heart chakra. Press your thumbs nice and firmly, but gently into the center of your heart. Imagine that you are inserting a golden key of light and that you are opening up and unlocking all the resources of your heart. So like a great big tidal wave of supreme divine loving energy, bright, beautiful, bold colors, all the courage and faith and hope you've ever imagined possible within you. Let it stream forth from the heart. Unlock your magnificence. And then just breathe for a few moments here, guys. Take in some nice heart centering breaths. Breathe in. Hold it for a moment. Let go of the weight of the world on your shoulders. Let go of the stress from your day. Exhale all the way out, decompressing, squeezing every little part of you. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze on your exhale. Let it go. Push out any trauma, drama, anything that is holding you back, any limitations, any scarcity, any lack, let it go and then breathe in again, nice and big, nice and deep. Initiation by air, breathe in the spirit of this moment. Hold it in your heart sacredly. And then release upwards from your heart. Pull your heart chakra up just a half an inch. Let that create a brand new alignment in your chakras. Drop your shoulders. Relax your chin forward as if you are bow bowing the mind to the heart. Excuse me for that. 
blink your eyes a few times, even though they're closed, that's going to really help your third eye chakra to open up here. And then as you surrender the ego mind to the higher self and to that powerful divine substance and light within you, really just bow your head a little bit deeper. Continue to lift your heart. As you lift your heart higher and higher, drop your mentality. Allow the mind of your personality and ego to serve the light within you. And then begin to feel a gentle adjustment as your third eye center lines up right over top of your middle fingers. And when that happens, there's gonna be a nice, beautiful stretch. You're gonna feel it from the base of your skull up through the top of your crown. Almost like there's an elongation from the back of your heart, the back of the throat, all the way up through the channel. And then you're gonna feel your head wanting to just lift back up nice, and effortlessly. As you lift your head up, I want you to tilt it back just a little extra, kind of hinge right where the skull meets the spine. We're gonna envision some beautiful soft white light coming down, just flushing through the third eye center. Picture a beautiful white river of light, just a nice faucet of energy coming down through the front of your third eye. And then release all the way up, really kind of fold back to whatever level and degree is the most comfortable for you. Just fold back right where the skull hits the spine. That's going to cause a nice little squeeze, a compression at the back of the third eye chakra. You might feel all the pressure in the back of your neck and your throat squeezing just a little bit. You're going to feel the front of your throat opening nice and big. Continue to lift your heart chakra upwards. And then when you feel like the front of your throat is open, quite naturally, you'll notice that your head comes right back up to center. There you go, good. You're starting to feel it now. Just allow your head to rise. And then take in one more nice big, huge heart breath. Let's breathe into the heart center. Hold that breath for just a moment. And let us envision opening the Anahata Chakra, the heart center, all of those beautiful petals of light, 24 arms of love. Let them reach out in all directions. And as your heart opens, let your hands open. Allow your beautiful hands, your palms to take their time finding their way down to your heart center. Just open your hands, open, open, open the heart. Imagine that you are, as you are opening your arms, welcoming the blessings of this year. You are creating space in your beingness for abundance, for success, for beauty, for joy, for love and hope, for peace and kindness and goodness, for health and prosperity, for wisdom and enlightenment. And even if your hands have landed in your lap by now, go ahead and just continue to imagine the space around you opening because your will is choosing to do so. Open more space. Beautiful. Let your hands rest, palms upwards, nice and open, nice and relaxed down in your lap. Very softly tuck your chin in, allow your seven chakras to align perfectly. And then taking a breath from the heart, exhale down through your central channel, all the way down through the solar plexus. Envision a beautiful stem of white light coming down from the flower of the heart. 
send it down to your hara, the seat of the soul, right in the hub of your sacral chakra. Then as you come down into your lower abdomen and into your pelvic cavity, allow yourself to adjust your posture. You might need to rock back and forth on your hip bones. You might feel like you need to adjust the arch of your back. If you wanna move your pillows around, go right ahead and do that. Until you are really relaxed in your hips and then dropping down that beautiful channel of light all the way down through the center of your root chakra, open the gateway to connection to your humanity. The root chakra, is one of the most misunderstood chakras. It is so powerful. It opens the gate to your humanity. It is the place where your spirit and the physical connect and become friends. So very simply, relax the root, envision that red bright chakra grounding down through the many planes all the way down to the very center of the earth. And then go ahead and just send that beautiful light down. And just like that card that we saw earlier, envision your roots powerful. See them strong, not fragile, not scattered. See them balanced. See them expressive, full of life force energy. If your roots look a little frazzled, then I just want you to take a couple deep breaths and send some love into your grounding mechanisms. Feel the love from your heart pouring down the channel of your roots, nourishing them, hydrating them, and empowering them to connect through each and every one of the layers of the earth, all the minerals, the rocks, the crystals, down through the beautiful fires of the Earth's central core. And finally, allow your most powerful central root to tap into the very heart of this Earth, her beautiful central core of light, the spirit of Gaia Mother Earth. And as you connect your light to her beautiful body of light, remember your soul mate connection. I'm using that word on purpose. Imagine that the earth is your soul mate. One of many. But you are not a foreign object upon her beautiful body of light. Remember that you are friends. You came to this planet with invitation. You came here with sacredness, with commitment, and with partnership between you and her spirit. And so as you ground down into the earth, allow yourself to feel that relationship to the earth, full of love and support, not just in one direction, but in both. This is not a moment to judge yourself for any worldly actions you have or have not taken, simply be in a sacred connection with the heart, mind, body, and spirit of the earth. Very much in the same way that you seek to have sacred connection with your highest God source and center. And so as you connect to the earth, allow your relationship to this physical world to be blessed, illuminated, healed, karmically balanced, whole, nurturing, positive, and beautiful in every possible way. And so my friends begin to feel a bright violet light descending down all the way through your root channel, down to your earth star chakra. 
and the earth star chakra for those of you that are not familiar with it sits about a foot underneath the earth at the base of the bubble of light that is your aura the earth star is the complement to the soul star which sits above you at the top of this bubble about a foot above your crown chakra and so just begin to envision at that earth star center, a beautiful sacred purple fire being lit. And it fans across the entire horizontal plane of your earth star grid. And as this fire of karmic clearing, balance and perfection and freedom blazes its justice across the earth grids, allow there to be a significant distribution of violet flame energy, not just down to the earth's heart center, not just between your soulmate connection and all the layers of physicality in this world, but also across the horizontal planes of connection to what I'm going to call life. Within the field of life, that includes your experiences, it includes humanity, your relationship to nature, the oceans, the lands, the mountains, the seas, the power points around this earth, her beautiful chakras, the magic of life that interconnects us is all receiving this beautiful violet flame. And so just take a few moments and feel the mandala of light that is your earth star grid blazing with beautiful violet color and allow the sacredness of those flames to come up through your aura, up through your central channel, up through your beautiful inner chakra system. And then through your chakras, out through all seven layers and dimensions of your being. Until that sacred violet flame, the fire of invocation, blazes brightly through every single part of you. My friends, breathe. As this violet fire blazes beneath you, around you, and through you, remember the energies of last year, 2021. The entire goal of that sacred year was to experience the victoriousness of your being. And I'm not sure how well you fulfilled that agenda, although I trust that you did. I'm just not sure how well you know that you did. But at a higher level, that was the game and the agenda of the energy for the year. And I have no doubt that you've achieved that. And so feel the victory in your breath, in your beingness, through the qualities of your mind and your thoughts, your consciousness. Feel the victorious heart within you. The victorious passion. The victorious healing. Remember that when I say victorious, this is a word that is defined by the violet flame as freedom, perfection incredible benevolence and connection. Last year, you victoriously connected and integrated with your higher self to a functional level and degree. Last year, we victoriously supported the action of the violet flame as it grounded the momentum of the Aquarian age into the world and into the hearts and the minds and the lives of the beautiful souls here on this planet. Last year, we victoriously 
supported ourselves on a path of spiritual enlightenment. There was so much growth and learning, so many opportunities to ground into our spiritual lessons, to integrate our spiritual frequencies and power, and to learn to really come from the spirit of our own being. And yet, 2021 was simply a taste of your victory. It was the ignition of the spark of your victory. It is the candle that was lit to bring the light of your personality and your higher self spirit, along with the talents of your higher self into your own awareness and into expression through your deeds, your actions. It perceived the world around you and it pierced that beautiful layer of life and began to precipitate all of your victorious beingness. And so as this violet flame blazes through you once again, notice how familiar it feels. Notice, using your imagination, how big and wide the breath of your fire is. You are capable of so much more now than ever. Your capacity to hold light substance is much stronger today as we begin this brand new beautiful year than it ever has been before in any lifetime that you've experienced. Whether you know it or not, last year, there were so many dispensations from the higher realms. Your karma was dealt with on your behalf. Your heart was opened whether you liked it or not. The healing took place at the innermost levels and victory was achieved. Limitations were surrendered. Dreams were once again grounded into your reality. Some dreams so powerful that perhaps you've even left them many, many, many years ago. And now they have resurfaced. They have sparked. Your passion for life is stronger than ever. Your desire to serve and to have meaning and to experience the richness of life is exponential. And you are in sacred partnership. There is a partnership that begins between the masculine and the feminine energies of yourself. Feel that balance, feel the support between your duality. You are in partnership between your humanity and your higher selfedness. And there is a balance that is being beautifully created and achieved. You are in partnership with interpersonal relationships that you have created and that you continue to foster and nourish. And many of your relationships that you have in this moment, this year, will continue to grow and expand. You will invest in those relationships and you will receive dividends, energetically speaking. As you support others, they will continue to support you and we will begin to operate in the collective levels of consciousness. You also have achieved a beginning level of partnership with the many realms of spirit. And I am fully aware that some of you are best friends with many masters and teachers, with higher beings of light, with great sources of wisdom, and truth, empowerment, and love. 
And yet I say to you that this is the beginning of your partnerships. You are in partnership with the source of life itself. You are in partnership with life itself. You are a part of all this beautiful manifestation that is known as creation. And as you partner with the field of creation, this coming year, you will hone your creative instincts, your powers of manifestation, and you will be able to produce so much joy, success, and abundance. So continue to feel the violet flame blazing richly, brightly, powerfully through you and around you, for this is the foundation of where we go to next. Begin to see, my friends, out in front of you, appearing in this field of sacred fire, in the very center of all this rich purple flame. Look and you will see a ruby golden spark. It will appear softly at first. And then as you begin to connect to it and perceive it, you will see the opening of the golden heart within the ruby light. And it will appear so large that it becomes a magnificent doorway a gateway. Allow yourself to be in your highest form of light. And as you look down towards your beautiful light body, see your garments of light that you are wearing. Know that your human body is safe and sound and you are free to travel through the gateway that is being presented to you passing through the flame and the fire of victory, enter the sacred heart of 2022. Pass through those beautiful colors of light and feel them infusing into the tissues of your body. For golden ruby is truly the substance of abundant, loving, graceful manifestation. It might take you a moment to pass through. Be patient. Be kind. Allow the flames that are surrounding you, the colors and the richness of this golden fire and the sacred fuchsia heart. Allow it to move through your emotional layers. Allow it to pierce through the mind and the confusion. Allow it to open the field of energy around you. Continue to breathe and as you arrive safe and sound on the other side, find yourself in a sacred chamber, a place of infinite deep love and quietude. Slowly but surely, allow your senses to acclimate to this space. You will notice that the chi here, the life force energy, has really yet to be unfolded for you, for this is a new space. And so take a moment right before creation Settle into your intentions for this year. What do you will to experience? Who do you wish to be? What would you create for yourself? 
And as you begin to feel into that simple question, allow a great joy to emit from you. Allow this great sense of inner peace and tranquility to outpour from your chakras. You will notice that as you think of this question, there is no stress here. There is no pressure. There's only possibility. You don't even have to force yourself to answer this question. Simply know that you are a creative being. You do have free will. There is within you a great source and substance of truth, a spirit that follows a divine directive of its own choosing. And there's always grace and alignment, creating the path to your greatest success and triumph. And so simply breathe into the alignment to that, that which is to come that is for your highest and best good. And then begin to feel this beautiful sanctuary around you, revealing itself to you. Let the darkness become light. Let the light become form. Let the form take on substance. Let the substance create the consciousness. And just listen. Listen to the space. Listen to the momentum of your soul. Listen to the guidance of your truth. And now my beautiful friends, become aware that this space that you are in is the center of everything. Like the nucleus inside of an atom, you are inside of your central hub. It might feel small and compact, or it might feel extensive and universally expansive. Whatever you are sensing is perfect for you. But no matter how big or how small, I invite you now to perceive beyond the edges of the sanctuary. Travel as your pure consciousness all the way up and out and beyond. And begin to perceive your sanctuary sealed in a golden yellow ball of light. Blazing as bright as the sun. And from it, those beautiful beams of light like spokes in a wheel going in every direction are connecting you to all the elements of life that will be blessings for you in the year ahead. And so very much like an atom, feel those blessings, those components of your year, also surrounded by beautiful golden grace, beautiful divine intention, higher purpose and meaning. That is the energy of this golden yellow brightness. And there is a force between these points of light. And in the center of your sanctuary, there is a gravity that is building and building with every breath you take. And there is a force within you that is spinning, spiraling, moving the energy, gathering it together, increasing the momentum, raising the vibration, 
And as the inner sanctum increases its vibration, that is felt through the field of gravity and connection throughout the entire year to each and every one of these particles. And there is a field of interconnectivity, like a web of light. See this. See the space between, energized by this connection. And then as you pan back further and further and further, see billions upon billions of particles of light connected and continue to move outward from the center of your sanctuary, layer by layer, breath by breath, until you can fully perceive the fabric of creation and the substance of life all interconnected with you and you in the center are breathing and being in unity, in harmony, in balance with the entire field of creation. Some of the points of light that surround you are from the higher realm not just the human realms, not just the earthly planes. You are connecting to the elemental kingdoms, the angelic realms, the celestial realms, the galactic realms, all the way to the highest sources of Mother, Father, God, Spirit, Source, Universe. And so continue to move beyond what is seen to the very edges of creation, to all that is. And as you look back, see that beautiful spark of light right there in the center is you. This is a message of self-centeredness. Notice I did not say selfishness. That has nothing to do with this. Being centered in the self allows you to connect to infinite possibilities infinite grace and connection, infinite loving abundance and blessings, infinite happiness and joy, success and prosperity. All goodness comes from the center of self. All service begins here. And so, my friends, I now welcome you to go back into the center of your being. Go back into the center of your nucleus. And ground back down into the sanctuary of self. Into the spark of golden ruby ray love into the sacred heart of your higher self. Really feel that for a few moments. This sanctuary that you have entered resides in the sacredness of the heart of your higher self. And here you rest, and here you are, and here, you shall remain throughout this beautiful year ahead, creating and creating and creating. In sacred divine partnership with your higher self, your guides, your guardians, systems of life and love, the laws of the universe, the highest ones, in service to all of life, all of time, all of space, all that is. You are here now.
creating. And now from the sacred heart, allow yourself to emerge from the heart. Take embodiment into the full presence of your higher self. As if you could upload your consciousness into your higher beingness. Feel yourself becoming larger a beautiful body of sacred light, one that is present, connected, aware, grounded into reality, and yet has your heart and your spirit grounded in light. Open your heart. Open your higher mind. Open into the higher body of light. Feel the rhythms and pulsations of the fuchsia love coursing through your veins in your golden body. Feel the golden crown upon your head. Feel the river of energy that is flowing through every single part of you. Sense the vibration that is one vibration from the innermost core of your being out through the ages. Feel a sense of supreme self. Supreme sacredness and connection. And now turn all of this beautiful love, the light, the power of you, as you are in this moment, towards the year ahead. Open the gateways of light, by which I mean open your higher self, seven chakra system, and in full blast mode, blaze the fire of your spirit. Send the colors of your rays. Send the colors of your intentions. Send the waves of the vibrations of your blessings into this beautiful year. And as you open the floodgates of love, light, blessings, Invite all that is higher, Mother, Father, God, Spirit, Source, Universe, Creator, Creation, and all the loving guides and guardians that have your back to flood through you as well. Offer this so unselfishly. Even though it looks like you are offering this to you in your year, Know that what you really are doing is you are creating openness for more light to flood into the world for the benefit and the blessing of all. And as a matter of fact, as you overflow into your year, into yourself, let it outpour Send it to every being that you will meet in the year ahead, those you know, those you have yet to meet. Send your light into the opportunities to come and into the ones that already exist. Send the light into your resources, your consciousness, your finances, Flood the field of every one of your relationships with the highest qualities of light. Uplift the world. Shine so bright, so bright, that all you can see is pure, radiant light. And then become even brighter 
without apology, without effort. Allow all that brightness to create substance. Allow that substance to be infused with love, with wisdom, with empowerment. Allow it to manifest as joyful, blissful energies. And wave upon wave, feel the joy filling the year ahead. Days, weeks, months. You can even go beyond this year, continue that flow into the next five years, 10 years, 20 years, 100,000 years. How big can you love? There are no limits for you are victorious. When you put your mind, your energy, and your power all into one beautiful meaning and intention, you are unstoppable. My friends, I am now pouring my love into you. I am asking all the angels, archangels, ascended masters, teachers, guides, and guardians of all the seven rays and of all the five secret rays to turn their minds, their hearts, their power to you, to bless you, to uplift you, to heal and transform you to clear the shadows and to break through the veils of separation with you, to raise you up into the light of your own being until you know it as home, until you feel it as love and until it becomes a sanctuary. a hub of peace, a place of wellness, a place of infinite joy. And not only do I ask them to bless you, I ask them to bless yours, all of yours, all those you love and all those that they love and all those that they love, that they love, that they love, and they love. (sighs) Take in a beautiful deep breath. Allow yourself to receive. We're going to take a few moments here for you to just really do that. Be the center of self. Be the center of your universe. Feel the love. Feel the complexity of interconnectedness and the exchange of energy that moves through these grids in a fair, even, and just flow. And then feel the exponential blessings. Whenever you give out, it is returned to you a thousandfold. Whatever love you share, let it come back to you exponentially. Listen to your colors, listen to your soul, listen to your vibration. Listen to your year. My friends, find 
your beautiful color for this year. Let it saturate your vision. Let it fill your heart to overflowing. Feel the alchemy of the ingredients of your spirit that are blessing you right here, right now. See the waves of color. Let them merge into one perfect vibration, one singular essence one absolute, all-permeating divine truth. And then feel that color saturating everything. Your mind, your body, your heart, your spirit, your life, your soul. And as you sense that color, listen to its name. What quality does it speak to you of? Listen for a word, one single word that is this frequency, this one quality that will penetrate and permeate all of your beingness. And now, my beautiful friends, join me in the heart. Press your palms together. Bring them right into the center of your heart chakra. Breathe into the heart with me a few more times. Breathe into that beautiful color, the essence of the sanctuary and sacredness of your higher heart self. Remember that you are the center of your universe. Feel the strength and the steadiness of being self-centered. Notice that you are grounding into everything, not above, not below, not outward, not inward. You are grounding into everything, the past, the present, the future, the mind, the body, the heart, the soul. You are grounding into time, into space, into spirit. You are grounded into all the realms of your consciousness simultaneously. In other words, you are not just grounded. You are centered. Center yourself in partnership. Center yourself in your breath. Center yourself into the initiation of this year. Trust the year to hold you safely, to maneuver you blessedly, and to care for you belovedly. I'm feeling your palms press together once again. Take a nice heart-centered breath. Then bring your awareness, bring your presence back to this exact moment, this perfect now. Breathe all the way in and exhale completely with me. 
Breathe in one more time, pulling in all the joy that you can stand. Breathe it in. Fill yourself with joy, goodness, abundance, pleasure, happiness, love, sacredness, and all good things. And then exhale nice and gently and share those blessings with all of you. And then my beautiful friends, we're going to take one more nice deep breath together in just a moment. And we are going to hold that breath just a moment. And from the center of our being, as we are going to OM together. Go ahead and exhale completely. Take that nice deep breath in. Hold it. I just feel like we could do that a couple more times. Let's do two more ohms. Breathe in. Oh. And last time, take a nice big deep breath. Namaste, my beautiful friends. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Give your hands a little rub. Feel free to stretch out your neck and your shoulders. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Give yourself a nice little twist or a shrug or a shake or a wiggle or a jiggle or whatever you need to do to softly come on back into this moment and to make your body your friend again. <laughs> mm. So much yumminess. <laughs> All right, guys, namaste again.